hi guys you're welcome back to my channel today we'll be making this salted oven baked granite so watch the process and see how i do it what am i doing here i'm picking out the bad ones amongst the granite so when you get your granite from the market try to select the bad ones from the good ones okay so after selecting them those are all the bad ones i got from my own and you see this is what i would have just mixed together with my granule so it's very important you do this um, process don't skip it next thing you're going to do is to wash your granite so here i'm putting the granite in the bowl so i'll go into the washing process or the washing um, of the granite okay so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so and please do not make this video your last hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i will post new videos on this channel so you can always get notified and watch and to our returning subscribers i love you all thanks for always staying thanks for supporting this channel you're welcome once again to this vlog so this is not the traditional method of frying granites like we all know so it's a different method so you stay tuned and watch how we do this one so see my granite is well washed well washed so you ensure you don't wash your granite so hard it doesn't need um so much scrubbing or power just wash gently okay so next we'll be going to the next procedure which is salting our granite so in a bowl of water mix your bowl with me i used a spoon of salt so that way it won't be over salted and it will also have less um taste so that is if you're making salted granite but if you don't want to make salted granite you can skip this procedure or this um step okay so next i'm going to sprinkle this salted water on my granite so that it can infiltrate you know it can enter into it yeah so this is what i'm doing here sprinkling the water the salted water in my granite so it can enter so well okay so i'm done sprinkling that water and i also ran the water over again so it can enter so so well and here i'm going to allow it to drain i'm also going to spread it out on a tray after this you can sun it if you have sun you can dehydrate it with your dehydrator anything that you use to dry it shaft but for me I use my fan to dry it because actually this granite was made at night. It was not even during the daytime. Okay. There was no sun. It was made at night. So you can use the oven to dry it. Anything you want to use and dry it, you can use and dry it. So I use my fan to dry it. After spreading it out on this tray, I dried it on my fan for some minutes. Then I went into the baking or the toasting um step okay so you stay tuned and continue watching how everything went all right so my granite is well dried and it's already in our oven so i um regulated my oven this oven this is my small oven where they manage so i put it on 200 um the temperature is on 200 and I timed it for just 15 seconds, okay? So the most important thing you're going to note is that you have to keep an eye on that, your granite that you are using oven to bake. Because even when you are using the traditional method, you know you don't leave it unattended to. You keep staring and staring. The good, one, the good thing about this one is that you don't keep staring. So you just regulate it, but put an eye on it. So come back, you check it. You turn it around, okay, just like you saw me do then. You turn it, turn it so that the thing will be evenly toasted. So we'll go ahead 
when it's getting done, you will also know because even from the um, aroma you'll be perceiving from your kitchen, you see that, yes, something is toasting. So at this point, my, the aroma in my kitchen was already telling me, yes, something is toasting, it's ready. So this is it. This first batch is ready. If you see, the color changed, the texture changed and everything. So it's ready. Can you see that? So this, the first batch is out and this is how I was peeling this one. I was peeling it gently, okay, to have these whole granodes. I don't want um, broken granodes. You can see it. So I was just peeling it <laughs> one at a time. So to have that whole granode, though some still got um, a little bit burnt, okay. And this one was the next batch. This is the method I was peeling it. So I'm just showing you the different methods you can peel your granite. So after bringing it from your oven, allow it to cool for just a few seconds because then it will be so hot. So just a few seconds. Then when it has cooled down a little, when it's still warm, then you can peel it with, with whichever method you desire. So after that first method, this is another method you can peel your granite. Though this one is going to come out with a lot of um, um, broken ones. So that is it. And we are almost getting to the end of our toasting. Because of my, uh, my oven is small, so I was doing it bad by bad. See the one on that three above the oven is not yet toasted. So I'm just checking the one inside the oven to see if it's ready. So this is how you know if your granite is ready. You keep an eye on it. So regularly turn it. And once you touch it and it's the, the shell is um coming off easily you see that it is done so unlike the one above that i just touched you see the shell was not even coming out the back of the granite was not coming out so this is how you know that your granite is ready and from the color change to the texture of the granite everything so i'll just get this one out now and also oops another one so because my oven is small i was just doing it by by but and oh la la See our beautiful, yumlicious, delicious granuts. Okay, this granut tasted so so yummy. From the look, you can tell. Okay, so it tasted amazing. The sauce was inappropriate. Everything was appropriate. So why why will you go and buy granut if you can do this at home? You can snack on this. You know, I don't have to tell you the different uses of granut. So you see that broken ones. These are the ones I got from um, the granite same. But, you know, I showed the different methods. So if you want to get broken ones, if you want to get unbroken ones, you peel it in the different ways to get it. So you know, you can use your granola to do a whole lot of things. You can smoke your gari with it. You can eat your fruits with it. Do fruit salad. There are a lot of uses of granola. Peanut is a very, very nutritious um, um, food. So, bye.